Santa's coming to visit No, he wouldn't miss this In Christmas times What is going on guys? Welcome back to another vlog and today I just got back actually I went to the Northeast for Thanksgiving so you guys saw a little intro there and I know the title may have some of you a little bit confused a little bit worried that I'm actually leaving Las Vegas now I'm not actually leaving Las Vegas so I apologize for clickbaiting you but here's the thing I did go to the Northeast I did technically leave Las Vegas um, so I had to use that title, it was catchy and I wanted to use it. So I'm back in Vegas today and I woke up a little while ago, I went for my walk, I did some fasted cardio, I've been doing laundry, I got the groceries ordered. I know a lot of you have been wondering what I do for groceries since I don't have a car right now. So what I do is I order everything from Amazon Prime and they deliver it right to your door. And basically if your order is over $35 or more, it's completely free to actually get it delivered. You just obviously tip, you should tip, make sure you tip. And uh, yeah, that's what we've been doing. I got the crock pot on for my food. I put in roughly five pounds of chicken thighs and chicken breasts. I put in the hot sauce with the Frank's Red hot sauce. And then I put on the ranch flavor god as well. So it's making a shredded buffalo ranch chicken, which is gonna be really good. Like I said, laundry's in, dishes are in, bed is made, groceries are here. So first day back in Vegas. And um, yeah, I had a great time with family. I had a great time getting into a new environment, just seeing people that I haven't seen in a long time. And it was a really good experience, but I'm glad, <sighs> glad to be back in my own space. You know, sometimes we don't, we don't realize how good we have it sometimes. You know, I do take a lot of things for granted on a day-to-day -day basis. That's why I try to do gratitude in the morning and I try to just have that grateful space because a lot of things like when you're up with family, you know, a lot of your family has a lot of beliefs, a lot of habits and things that they've just kind of fallen into the pattern of and you know, always being around that same environment. I noticed while I was there, a lot of limiting beliefs, you know, people saying, yeah, just working, busy working, you know, or yeah, he's doing well, he's got a safe, secure job and he's got benefits and all this stuff. I think oftentimes we don't believe in ourselves. We don't believe that we can really do the things that we want to do because of the environment that we are in. And, you know, most of my family up in the Northeast has never left. You know, they're always around everybody and that's great that they have the family unit, but, you know, I just noticed there was a lot of people who didn't really look too happy, you know, with, with their current situations. And it really is one of those things that you know, your environment is so, so, so crucial. You know, if you are around people who have settled, you are around people who really just aren't striving for more and they're just trying to throw in the towel and get that safe thing, you know, it really can prevent you from doing great things in this world. You know, there's a lot of people who have amazing ideas, amazing things that they want to do, but because of these beliefs and these environments that are you know, conditioned into our brains, we get stuck. And it's not easy to get out of that. You know, that's what most of the world operates on. And I will say that's one thing that by me moving out to the West Coast, you know, I've been able to just kind of quiet all the noise, quiet all the opinions, quiet all the, you know, beliefs that were around me and do my thing and do the things that I want to do and try different things and not really worry too much about what everybody else wants and things. So I'm not, I'm not down talking anybody. I'm not saying anything bad about anybody, but what I am saying is oftentimes we get caught in this pattern and we don't even realize it to where we're, we're just limiting ourselves. You know, we're limiting 
our potential because of our environment. You know, if you are in an environment where people are always pushing to be better, people are always pushing for more, you're naturally going to be pushed to do more and pushed to become better. So, you know, for me, I'm glad to be back. All right, it is now eight hours later. Chicken is done. So what we're gonna do is I've got these containers here. We're gonna load up all of our meals into here. I don't think we're gonna need all of them, but these containers are awesome. I've had these for over three years now, and I just now ordered some replacements because I guess I lost some, I don't know, but I have had very good experience with these. They last for a long time, and I throw them in the dishwasher and they're fine. So. If you are looking for any type of like meal prep containers, these ones are what I would recommend. I'll put a link down in the description. There's always a link for these in every video. And um, yeah, let's check out this. And I also cooked some beef, but I'll show you guys what this looks like. That's done. Oof. Fogged up the lens. The Buffalo Ranch shredded chicken looks like when it's done. It only took about eight hours on low. Uh, if you wanna cook it faster, you can do four hours on high. So that is that. We're gonna get these cooked up, get the rice in here as well, and get everything just all sorted. And that's gonna really wrap up this video, guys. I've been thinking about doing this whole Vlogmas thing that everybody does on YouTube during December. It's gonna to be tough. I don't 100% know if I can do a video every single day, but I do wanna challenge myself to put out more videos in December than last month. I think last month I put out six or seven videos, maybe even less, maybe like five or six. So this month I would like to put out at least double that, 12. So if you guys want any certain type of video, let me know down in the comments what suggestions you have. It can be a workout video, it could be nutrition video, it could be a vlog, it could be something in Vegas, it can be whatever. I'm looking for ideas because I'm gonna need more ideas for this next month if I'm gonna actually do this whole Vlogmas thing. So let me know down in the comments what you guys wanna see, what you're interested in. But yeah, let's get this sorted up. That's gonna wrap up this video, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you guys did for your holidays. Let me know what you have planned for Christmas. Let me know what you have planned for New Year's. I would love to hear from you guys and see what you guys are doing, what you guys are up to. And uh, yeah, just start a conversation down in the comment section. So that's it for this one, guys. Give it a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.